New York Mets continue to New York Met. I mean, seriously, only this team would have all these occurrences happen to them. Even when they win, things don't seem to be right. On Friday night, Francisco Lindor hit a big home run to tie the game against the Diamondbacks in the bottom of the seventh inning. In the middle of the inning, though, something pretty odd happened. Take a second to like this video, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button for future baseball content. The Mets went on to win tonight's game against the D-backs in walk-off fashion, winning it in the 10th inning. But it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows leading up to the win. At least, that's not what it seems like. In the top of the 7th inning, Nick Ahmed of the Diamondbacks hit a grounder to the left side of the infield. Lindor hesitated before fielding the ball and throwing the first, which ended up being late and a hit for Ahmed, showing an obvious miscommunication between him and second baseman Jeff McNeil. The two did not seem too happy with one another, and then things got pretty interesting. In the middle of the inning, a bunch of commotion went on in the Mets dugout. As a bunch of the Mets players rushed to the dugout and into the clubhouse with something obviously going on. The video made its rounds on Twitter and many speculated that Lindor and McNeil were fighting in the clubhouse and had to be broken up. Well, we have no idea what happened, but here's what it looked like. Smith and Conforto ran down, so did VR. So something happened down that tunnel. We have no idea, but obviously it drew the attention of everybody in that dugout. And we cannot speculate on what it might be. After the game, Lindor had this to say about the incident, denying it with one of the more crazy cover-ups I've probably ever heard. Steve, it was, it was funny because I told him, I was like, hey, I'd never seen a New York rat. So we went down sprinting. I want to go see a New York rat. And he got mad at me. He's like, no, it's not a rat. It's a raccoon. I'm like, hell no, man. It's a damn rat. It's a New York rat, man. I was just crazy because if we were going back and forth debating if it was a rat or a raccoon. <laughs> crazy, man. Insane. Who, who was he? Who were you debating that with? Uh, we Jeff, we Jeff. I was like, bro, you gotta, you gotta check this out. I was like, this is a New York rat. He's like, no, man, I've been here longer than you. <laughs> I mean, seriously, how can that story be true? Mets manager Luis Rojas later said he knows nothing about a rat raccoon situation, clearly not playing into this story at all. Rojas ended up saying that he was satisfied that whatever happened between Lindor and McNeil was over and done with by the time he got down the dugout steps. So what really happened? Did they fight? Was there really a rat slash raccoon situation or something else? Let me know down in the comments below. No, it's not a rat. It's a raccoon. I'm like, hell no, man. 